Hey everyone, after doing my last video for Milwaukee Tool Patents for 2020, I got a few requests to look into what Makita's working on this year. So I did some research and here are the patents I found. First up is a cordless belt sander design. Makita is no stranger to belt sanders. They've got quite a few corded models, uh, but this is their first step into cordless. So this one is a single battery cordless belt sander. Uh, it looks like it's an 18 volt. I suppose they could also make a 40 volt XGT version as well with their new battery line they announced earlier last year. Uh, and it's the uh, one patented feature of this is it's got a safety switch on top uh, that you grip with your hand uh, as well as the trigger below. You can still lock it on, um, but I guess that safety switch will just keep you from uh, having a cordless belt sander race if it gets away from you. Next up is a cordless nailer. This certainly looks like a framing nailer to me with the angled magazine design. Uh, their current nailers that are on the cordless platform right now are, are the 23 gauge pinner, the 18 gauge brad nailer, and the 16 gauge nail gun. All of those are straight nailers, and you can see with this one, it's an angled magazine on this. And the fasteners that they draw do not look like 15 gauge nails, they look like framing nails to me. So. Uh, some, some specifications on this, it's not a gas piston design, it is a mechanical flywheel design. And one of the patented claims on this is that it can monitor the spin-up speed uh, and then the speed after firing and potentially save some energy that way, I guess, of not spinning it up as fast if it doesn't need all the energy to sink the nails into a, a consistent material. The next design I found is a cordless pressure washer. This one looks to be a pretty significant design, uh, not like the cordless works one that's kind of a pressure washer. Uh, this one has a tank on it that is detachable, so you can take the main unit with you, hooked up to a hose, and carry it. Uh, so it should be light enough to carry because they've got a shoulder strap on it and everything. Um, and then you, if you want to, you can bolt it down to the tank and use it. Um, and the tank has wheels on it so you can wheel it around because that's gonna be a lot of weight. Uh, with all of that water in there. Uh, if the tank is empty, you can also store the whole thing in it, so it acts as a, uh, a storage unit as well. Um, so you can put the hoses and the lance and the pressure washer itself in there and uh, keep, it, keep it all together so you don't lose any pieces. Next up is an 18 volt LXT to 40 volt XGT adapter. So last year Makita introduced a new 40 volt battery lineup, um, which was a little bit confusing because they already have X2 tools which use two 18 volt batteries, so that's the same thing essentially as a 40 volt battery. Um, and it was a little bit like, well, why didn't they just you know, make an adapter? Well, here's an adapter to use the old batteries on the new tools. So that's kind of the opposite of what DeWalt did with FlexVolt because you can't use their old batteries with their new tools, but you can use their new batteries with their old tools. So it's kind of the opposite of that. You can take two 18 volt batteries, which you might have a ton of, plug them into this adapter and there's a couple different designs. There's some that sit on the tool, there's some that sit on a belt clip with a cord running to the tool. Um, it just depends. And then plug them into that 40 volt XGT tool and run the tool off of that. This next one is an 18 volt backpack blower that uses four 18 volt batteries. So it's an X4 design, I guess, instead of their X2 design. So they've, they've, they've done this traditionally with two 18 volt batteries, they've plugged them into tools that need a little bit more power, uh, and that's been their solution for a long time. They more recently came out with a four times battery backpack that you can put on your back and have a cord that plugs into your tool. With this one, I guess they figure they already have a backpack design, so why not put it in a backpack blower and uh, go ahead with that. So this is going to use two 18 volt batteries per fan, and there are two fans inside this backpack blower. Um, and the patent's actually mostly about the circuit design, which makes me think it shares a lot of similarities with how they designed the uh, X4 backpack that carries four batteries. Uh, it's so you don't end up charging one battery if the, the load becomes unbalanced with another one instead of actually running the tool with both of them. This next one is for 64 volt max batteries. So these are two sets of 16 cells in series. Uh, and those two sets are connected in parallel. Pictures of these have already leaked online, um, and this, this is just, seeing this patent is just another further confirmation that Makita's actually working on this, which is, it's a little bit strange, um, because they just announced their 40 volt line, and now they have a 64 volt line apparently coming out or in development as well. Um, so I don't know exactly what they're doing with that. This might be more of a competition for the MX Fuel line. They might be looking to power light equipment with this instead of just regular power tools. 
Uh, I guess we'll see on that. This next tool is an X2 cordless vacuum pump for HVAC work. So Makita had one of these a while ago on the 18 volt platform and I don't believe they ever brought it to North America. Uh, I looked all over their website and couldn't find it in the US version. And I think I found it on the Australian website. So I'm not sure why that never made it overseas uh, here to North America, but this patent is filed after that initial, well, several years after that initial one came out in 2015. Um, so I think they've done some more work. Maybe the first one wasn't powerful enough or didn't have a long enough runtime, and they're looking at this new design. This next one is a cordless remote control laser level. Uh, it looks very similar to their existing 12 volt CXT SK209 GDZ laser, um, but with the one exception that this one has a motor in it that will rotate the top uh, to point the cross line at different places. So that's, that's really handy if you've ever been up on a ladder and you need to move the cross line laser, you have to get down off the ladder, walk over, readjust where that is, and then walk back. Um, so that's a, a really big advantage on this one. Uh, at first I thought this was a rotary laser, but the function talks about using a remote control for it. Um, so I really think this is for adjusting it uh, to point to a specific direction. The last one I have on my list is another cordless exoskeleton patent. So last year I found this kind of rough draft of the concept that Makita had been working on, and there were a ton of different embodiments. It was a really broad patent on what they wanted to accomplish. It looks like they've done some more work on the concept though, because this one was filed about a year later, and it's a much more refined design. There's no pneumatics or anything else. It's just an 18 volt LXT battery. Uh, you can see the drawings are a little bit more refined, like it's an actual product instead of just sketches on the back of a napkin. Uh, and it's kind of the same, same idea. It's going to help you lift a tool to drill overhead, and it's going to help you push into the ceiling uh, and, and make it a lot easier on your shoulders if you're drilling overhead all day. So that's pretty exciting news because I think Makita's still working on this design, which makes it seem less like they mothballed a crazy idea and that they're actually trying to refine it and make this a viable product they can bring to market. So that's everything I found this year. Hopefully uh, it has something on your wish list in it. If not, let me know what you want to see in the comments below. And once again, thanks for watching.